My friends, it was day 677 of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and yesterday 90 Iranian kamikaze drones were launched by the Russian terrorists. Each Iranian Shahid drone carries approximately 40 kilograms or 88 pounds of explosives, therefore in total more than 3.5 tons of explosives were launched by the Russian terrorists against the Ukrainian civilians in several waves of attack. Despite all the efforts of the Russian terrorists, incredible number of 87 out of 90 drones were intercepted by the Ukrainian air defense and mobile groups. The casualties among the civilian populations were avoided no matter how uh, hard the Russian terrorists tried to inflict them. And by the way, such cases can tell you a lot about the proper air defense in comparison to the Russian failure in Belgorod. Uh, it's when the Russian citizens were killed by the fallen debris because the Russian air defense was shooting down missiles and drones over the residential areas. And quoting the Russian representative Nibenzia, Ведь если сегодня есть о чем поговорить, то это исключительно о действиях систем украинской ПВО, размещаемых в жилых кварталах украинских городов, в нарушении международного гуманитарного права. Yesterday, the HIMARS strike in Donetsk resulted in elimination of anonymous Russian propagandists. Even though the Russian media admit this fact, they keep his name a secret. Even the notorious Russian propagandist Slotkov in his Telegram channel stated the following. As far as I understand, we have the following picture. There was a confirmed dad. There was also a confirmation of him being a member of our community. But not a single publisher mentioned losing a co-worker. Mystery. Let the investigators and operatives solve this case. I always avoided journalist investigations. Because there is no freedom of speech in Russia, and generally people avoid asking too many questions, it's easy to understand why propagandist Slotkov hasn't given a single damn about the elimination of his colleagues. So, what was the name of the mysterious Russian propagandist? We don't know as of this moment, but what we do know is that being a Russian propagandist is kinda sketchy, unless you don't mind being dead and abandoned. Now, remember the Russian Nazi Alexei Milchikov, known for torturing and decapitating dogs in Russia? Uh, so, his terrorist group Rusich on their official page mourned Alexander Bidnov, aka Batman. Terrorist Bidnov was a notorious Russian criminal who took part in the Russia-backed coup in Donbass in 2014, and less than a year later he was shot dead on the highway near Luhansk. Just like majority of the Russian terrorists, Alexander Bidnov was considered both a hero and a villain by the pro-Russian degenerates. And as a result of the internal conflict between the terrorists and the chiefs of the so-called LPR, those openly blamed Batman for being a criminal who kidnapped and tortured people, and later it was confirmed that Alexander Bidnov was assassinated by the terrorist group Wagner. Being a Russian supremacist is like uh, mourning and admiring a Russian criminal who kidnapped and tortured people and got eliminated by other Russian criminals. Yet there are still plenty degenerates out there who believe that the terrorist Russian world is somehow superior over the European democracy. It was a perfect introduction to the Russian cringe, my friends, and up next there's an absolutely cringy episode with a Russian prisoner and his greedy Russian mom. Понятно. Ты доверенность писал на деньги? О, вот. Нам даже не давали. Вот она самое главное, что вас интересует деньги. Деньги. Он в плену находится, а вас интересуют его деньги. Да мы поняли, поняли. Свинюки, Дайте договорить. Я его просто спрошу. Не просто нужно знать. Конечно, вам нужно знать за деньги. А вот я не дал вам поговорить за деньги. Не давайте Бога, Господи. Ну, все. ну не давайте говорить. До свидания. What are you saying, son? You were captured? Son, don't waste your time. Tell me the most important thing. What is your PIN code? The PIN code for your salary card, you idiot. Did you sign the letter of the attorney? Good boy. Can we also sell your things and rent your apartment to other people? 
Oh my god, this is truly the loveliest Russian mom I have ever seen. Unfortunately, she's not getting her kilogram of the frozen fish because the dude is not dead. And considering that he's being kept in the Ukrainian prison, there's really no chance for him to die anytime soon. Several groups of the Iranian drones were reported approaching Kyiv. Also, according to the current information, approximately nine Russian bombers are heading towards the launch sites over the Caspian Sea. Uh, apparently, they will be launching the missiles around 5 a.m. Kyiv time, just uh, as it was predicted yesterday. Hopefully, the civilian citizens of the Russian Belgorod won't be too mad at the Russian air defense that will be killing them again very very soon i'd like to finish today's report quoting the words of the former minister of the foreign affairs and defense of lithuania mr linas linkiewicz putin declared on the occasion of the new year that russia will not retreat anywhere and really shit ahead shit in the past and standing on shit so no need to move nothing to add here with that i wish you all a beautiful day i'm operator starsky as always be safe